Trigger finger is a, also a very common pathology where um, the fingers have a tendency to stay locked in uh, flexion. So when the patient tries to open their hand, they realize they have difficulty extending, they're extending the finger and soon what's going to happen is the finger stays locked like this and they have to use the other hand to passively extend the finger. I'm a physical guy, like I do a lot of activity, I, I work out, I play sports, I play basketball and every once in a while my, my finger would just lock into place. So I mean at first I didn't think anything of it, I would just you know pull it back out and then you know it'd be fine for a couple of days and it would come back. And um, it started happening more and more often and, and that's when I figured that something was really wrong with my, with my finger. This is a mechanical problem between the tendon and the tunnel in which it's supposed to be gliding freely. So the surgery is done in a matter of a few minutes under local anesthesia. The patient has absolutely no pain. So he suggested surgery and, and uh, he suggested a non-invasive type of surgery as opposed to um, cutting into my hand because, because of my job, I'm a personal trainer, I can't afford not to work for too long. So the solution is quite easy. You just need to make, the, make room for the tendon. You need to make the tunnel a little bigger. And this is now done by two little ports here that allow you to get inside with a camera and small instruments, allowing you to, sh to look at the tendon, look at the tunnel, see where the problem is, and cut the ligament that's restricting the tunnel itself and nothing else but the ligament. The recovery process within, uh, I'm a little bit of a gym nut, within three days I was like, you know what, let me see if I can work out, and, and I was fine. Like, I mean, I had full mobility in my finger, um, I had no pain, I had no restrictions, I was working within two days, I had full recovery, and there was no scarring, there was no, I mean, everything was, my hand was normal. Rarely will they take Tylenol for maybe 24 hours or less, apply a little bit of ice, elevate their hand, and uh, the next day they wash their hand and use their hand freely. I would say success rates are probably 95 to 99 percent and I am absolutely convinced that this procedure is way superior to the conventional surgery that implies you're opening up your palm. I mean I, I can't explain the, the relief that he gave me. I mean just the, the consultation, the time that he gave me and, and the time that I was in and out, I mean it, it was minimal. So I mean I didn't waste any time, I didn't lose any time from work, I mean everything was 100% was, was amazing.